The Washington Examiner is here in South Carolina where we spoke to Nikki Haley supporters about why they're still supporting her even though Donald Trump is beating her by a two to one margin in most South Carolina polls. I'm supporting Nikki Haley because I think she should be the next president of the United States. I think she would be terrific in that job and our country needs her. And also she's the only person of the three left that can speak in complete sentences. Has Nikki Haley earned your vote on Saturday? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. I'm a registered Democrat. He's a registered Republican. I want to hear what Nikki Haley has to say because I really like her a lot. And I'm not voting for Biden again. Uh, there are a lot of reasons that I'm voting for her. Well, I love the fact that I have a woman to represent our nation, um, but mostly because I agree with her policies. She got great leadership. You know, Trump already been there. We already know what he could do. So why put him back in the why put him back in the chair? Oh, you can't compare the two. Donald Trump is somebody who's tearing apart the country, who's torn apart the Constitution. Nikki Haley has principles. She will lead us forward. She will unite us. She will solve problems. Donald Trump creates problems. She'll solve them. I voted for Trump twice. I will not vote for him again for all the obvious reasons. Because he's a loose cannon. He enjoys tweeting more than he enjoys actually setting and carrying forward policy. And politics is a grind. It's not a flip a switch and everything goes the way you want it to go. Trump, I'm trying to use good words, Trump just needs to go away. And I'm not voting for Donald Trump. <laughs> so you're going to cross over and vote for Haley? I am, if she gets the nomination, which I hope she does. We've been in such disarray for so long, I think she really gives us hope. I like her attitude. She's just like a thorn in Trump's side. <laughs> and I like that. And he has tarnished America to a ridiculous degree. Who do you think will win on Saturday? Unfortunately, I think it'll be Donald Trump. What does that mean if he wins? It's a sad statement on the people of South Carolina. If he does win on Saturday, does that represent sort of Trump taking over the GOP? <laughs> yeah, maybe for a while. But when he loses to Biden, then if Biden runs. On the campaign trail, Nikki Haley likes to point out that in a head-to-head -head matchup against President Biden, she's usually beating him by one to three percentage points. Here from South Carolina, I'm Abinti Korshi with the Washington Examiner.